What is going on, everyone? Only one answered over here. I'm here with my album collection for 2015, October of 2015. Um, I have eight albums on disc, and I also have a couple of them downloaded onto iTunes. Any album I get, I always import it into iTunes just so I can listen to music when I'm on the road and just in other places. And I also buy some of my music from iTunes. But honestly, I'd rather have it on a disc than download it. But, uh, I have every album here in, um, alphabetical order by first name, and we'll start here. Okay. First, I have Calvin Harris, 18 Months. This came out back in 2012. I have his newest album, Motion, on iTunes, but I just wanted to get this because it has a lot of titles that a lot of people like. Uh, if we... it up. We have that. That's that. Next we have Daft Punk's latest album, Random Access Memories, or RAM. Um, this came out in 2013, I'm pretty sure. Daft Punk, I just wanted to get this album because apparently Daft Punk was really, um, good. <laughs> Listen to their music. It's just like very different house music. It's French house. You can barely see that down there, but here we go. Yeah, Daft Punk does French house. Their most famous song on this album is uh, Get Lucky with Pharrell Williams in it. Next, Ed Sheeran, Multiply. Actually, I went to see Ed Sheeran in concert in my town. He's pretty good. When I first opened this up, like, when I first got it, I didn't think there was a disc in it, because it's just a black disc. After that, we have Florida Wild Ones. This is the latest studio album. He released an EP, I think, earlier this year called My House because he does some house music, too. And I think it's weird for a rapper to do house music, but hey, you can do what you want with your music life. And you know the next one. Just got this last week. Cascade, Automatic, uh... Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that playing. That's really loud. It's currently 11.05 p.m., too. Yeah, it's really late. I'll start on this. It sounds like it's going to crash. Holy shit. Sorry for my language. Can you hear that? <laughs> Once a rubber ducky 115, he was on the mic and we could hear him playing. It was, like, actually going over his house. It was only, like... Maybe 50 or 100 feet away from his house. And I'm like, holy crap, dude. <laughs> and then that happened to me one day. And I'm like, oh, I see what you mean. I'm off track. Okay, next. Maroon 5 with 5. Don't let kids listen to this. Then when you open the digipack up, you see this. Not exactly a digipack. Cascades was more of a digipack. Hold on. Yeah, this was the first edition of the album where um, they didn't have This Summer's Gonna Hurt Like a Mother. Yeah. Um, and then they did a reissue and... Um, it's in, like, an actual jewel case now instead of a digipack or whatever you want to call that. Which I think is kind of stupid how they just want to add a song to the album. It's, I, don't, I don't like when people do that. Next, Skrillex, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites. This, is, this was, like, one of his first EPs, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, I wanted to get it because, um, you know, one of his best songs is on here, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites, along with the Zed remix and the Noisia remix, however you say his name. Looks really cool. I would get his album Recess, but I don't know. I'm not too big into dubstep, only, like, electronic dance music. Can't really see anything there. You know what? I'll actually take that out. Okay. Now we almost got it. Yeah. That. I dedicate this release to music lovers of all types. All types? I don't think so. But <laughs> whatever you say. Okay. Now our last album is... Zed's latest album, True Colors. Um, I like Zed. Zed's really, uh, it's pretty good. Back with his single, Clarity, back in 2013. That was a great song. Um, this album actually has a lot to, uh, mention. <laughs> mention? I don't even know. Um, there's a lot of good songs on it, though. I would actually suggest checking Zed's album out, really. He is underrated, in my opinion, and you should seriously check out his music. Well, that concludes my album collection for October of 2015. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention. Avicii's new album came out today. It's currently October 2nd, 11.09 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I will be getting that tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure I might bring my camera with me going into Bull Moose just to see what the store looks like, basically, and, uh, just, uh, for you guys to check it out, because I shop there often, so, that video will be up tomorrow, Saturday, this one might be up on Saturday, too, just because of how late it is currently, but, um, yes, just look out for that, stay tuned to my channel, uh, so, because, yeah, hopefully we're gonna get that album tomorrow, Avicii's new album, Stories, I've been really pumped for that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.